What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. Today, me and good old Nick Goslin are way up north, and we are going to be doing some walleye fishing, and we have some special guests with us tonight in the shack behind me. Nick, who did you bring today? Oh, we brought, we brought the whole crew. The whole family? The whole family. Hello, puppies! <laughs> Hi, and, Oakley. And Caitlin. Hi, Caitlin. <laughs> We're not gonna go in there because uh, otherwise the camera lens would fog up tremendously because Caitlin's got it really warm in there. We're fishing a lake that we fished a couple times open water. I saw our last video, Brandon was out here and that's where he was doing this winter camping. But I decided to come on out considering he caught, well, some nice fish and that big one, obviously. If you guys haven't seen that video, go watch it because otherwise you wouldn't know what I'm talking about. But we're back. We've got a grid out here. Just six flags actually right now. Brandon and I are gonna be jigging. We gotta set up one more tip up, try to get Caitlin on some big ones. There are a lot of big ones in here. Can't keep them, but there's some nice ones. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the game plan. So try to control the dogs. Oakley already cut his hand, so that's, that's clutch. His paw. His paw, sorry, he doesn't have hands. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, we're just going to be hoping for some walleyes. Shouldn't be too long, we've gotta probably 30 minutes, a little lighter than when you were out here, right? Yeah, yesterday was dark. So I mean. it, it's really clear water, so it shouldn't take too long, but probably within the next half an hour, hopefully we're gonna be just nonstop sprinting like what they're doing. <laughs> All right, first tip, tip up of the night, let's go. Plan was to be doing some jigging, but uh, how'd that go? Well, we haven't gotten to it yet. <laughs> Literally, we just got all of our tip ups set up, and I don't know, this one doesn't seem too promising, but it is a tip up. Not sure how long this bad boy's been up for, but we'll take a gander. There is a fish. <gasps> really? And I'm guessing, 16 inch walleye. Oh, Ooh, that's nice guess. that was a good guess. This one's looking more like a hey. 14, but yeah. frisky little guy. First one of the night. There are a ton of these in the lake. The problem is, really, it's such a big body water that there's so many walleyes <laughs> that you're gonna have to go through a lot of this size. I'm gonna get this one unhooked. First flag of the night. They're probably gonna start <laughs> flipping like crazy, I would imagine, before dark and uh, see if we can get into some bigger ones. Absolute giant. Very important, release the big fish. <laughs> Look at them go. Gave you a kick goodbye, honey. <laughs> honey didn't know what to think of that. No. <laughs> Well, she stopped, but there was a little bit of movement at first. Show us what you got, Kate. Okay. It was just moving. Oh, yep, just a little tiny bit, slow. Okay. <gasps> Grab the line on the bottom. If you feel them, pull. You got them? Yeah. How big is it? Tiny. Is it? Oh, yeah. It's just a little dinky thing. Hey! It's really bigger hurt. than Nick's! <laughs> Alright. Woo! Fish. That's tiny. Yes. Hey, Oakley. stop it! Come on. Second fish is probably. That's this close one probably to the 15. Is 16. Maybe yeah, 15. it's 15 and a half, I bet you. It's long, skinny guy. <laughs> Oakley wants to Oakley, take it home and he eat it. He wants the fish. But hey, second flag, probably about. Well, as soon as we got back to the shack, we saw this one go up, so yeah. we're probably just going to continue on running. We got a spread, like I was saying, so we're going to get our work in. Oakley's uh, going to go check that one. You want to check the other tip up, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> wow. There she goes. There Textbook she room. goes. Let's go, Caitlin. Thanks. Textbook. <laughs> How do I zoom in on this sucker? Oh, we got a oh, pack of wild there. animals. Go get him, Uncle Brad. <laughs> okay. Well, unfortunately, that's the last time I saw it. Is it spinning? Not yet. Not a good sign. Well, no movement out of her, but it was spinning when Nick came over to check it out. Yep, he's there. 
Got him. Oh. Oh. <gasps> Is he a big one? Oh, it came off. Oh, shoot. Oh, what was that? I don't know. Was that on the rock bar or what? Yeah, I think he got us down into the rocks there or something. Very strange. Got the minnow and got away. Oh. Dang it. Well, that's all right. On to the next one. Yep, 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 yep. Got him? Did you let go? Yep. Oh, they are getting smarter, I'll tell you what. Yeah. That one got away. Minnow still there? Yeah. Just a yeah. little minnow too. It must have been a small fish if he didn't choke that guy down. Cool. All right, well, maybe we'll get a chance to jig for some walleyes. What do you think? <laughs> Probably not at this rate, but we're gonna try. Do they come out like at dusk right now? Yeah, this is like prime absolute time. prime time for oh, them. Okay. All right, last one for the pups. Let's go get them, boys! Great sign. Great sign. No movement out of it. That's becoming frequent. <laughs> so we're just set up on some rocks here tonight and uh, we're actually, like Nick said earlier, we've got a pretty good spread going. Basically we're looking for sandy gravelly areas and we're looking for rock bars and stuff like that. This part right here is kind of a shallow area but it's a steep drop off with a lot of rocks. The other area that we're fishing is kind of a hump that also has some rocks on it. We're gonna go ahead and take the, oh yeah, 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 he's here, he's here. Got him. How's it feel? Can't tell, doesn't feel massive by any means. It's definitely been a trend, a lot of head shakes. I mean, he's a strong fish, but he doesn't feel huge. There we go, it's a little bit better one. Ooh, wow, that is a strong fish. He's all sorts of riled up. Nice little, uh, that would be an eater on most lakes. I would say that one's all of 16, maybe even 17. That's a nice fish there. He's got a nice little split right there in his top dorsal. I'm gonna go ahead, grab the pliers and get this one unhooked. All right, we're gonna go ahead, get him back down there. Nicest fish so far of the night. Definitely not a giant. There he goes. See ya. All right, like we I said. We probably have more flags. Yeah, we, we just probably don't have, have tempo another one. We've, we've got lights on these two, but we have to get the lights on the other one. They just keep popping, boys. So we're gonna go ahead and get this one all set back up and let's we'll just go see if we've got one over there. Tons of movement. It's been doing what every single other one's been doing, which is absolutely nothing. But we're getting flags, and as you can tell, it's dark. I still have not gotten the chance to jig. I actually took the Garmin over to one of the humps over there that we're set up on, set the Garmin down, turned it on, and then this one went up. So still haven't gotten to that opportunity. When we do, we'll show you. But uh, until then, we're just gonna keep on attending these plays. This one's been up for a little bit, and the no movement isn't really exciting me. But it's deeper water, they could just take it and sit. Which is what he did. Doesn't seem very big. Head shakes. It's a little bit better. A little better. About like the last one, I'd say. Maybe even bigger. I think they're slowly starting to get bigger. This one's probably pushing that uh, 17, 18 inch range. Definitely a female. The last couple I think that we've had were all males. But hey, if we keep on going up in size, I'm gonna take it. Ended up having to cut the hook on that one. Very important. You gotta release all of them here, so you can't have any slip ups. You gotta make sure that every single fish goes back healthy which obviously that one did. I do have to get another hook. This hole actually has been catching us most of the fish. I know you guys probably can't tell with where we're at in the video, but I think this is like our second or third fish out of this hole. So this area definitely seems key. We're just like Brandon was saying, fishing a super steep slope up to kind of like a sandy, rocky flat. And they're coming in. Oh yeah, yep, 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 yep. Got him. Didn't go far. The step up just went up. Yep, we didn't uh, We didn't even make it probably 10 feet away from the last one. And this guy comes up. Woo! Woo, all right. 
This one is full of energy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he uh, didn't even get all the minnow all the way down there. <laughs> no, check that out. <laughs> Just a little one. Again, probably around that 15 to 16 inch range. A lot of those in here, which is good to see because that means that the lake is doing really, really well. All right, go ahead, get a release on them. Wow, it's cold out here, boys. Very, very cold, but we're getting a lot of flags. Like I said, most of them are pretty cookie cutter, anywhere from that like 13 to 17 inch range tonight. We are still grinding, hoping for a big one. We do want a jig, because obviously there's always a chance at a big one while jigging too. We're gonna go ahead and get this one back in. Maybe one day we'll try jigging. Who even knows at this point? All right guys, well it's been a minute since we've turned on the camera and actually, we're using uh, Brandon's iPhone because every single battery that we have for our camera is dead and we have like eight of them. It is extremely cold like Brandon was saying out here, but packed up everything, got the dogs to the truck, Caitlin in the truck, got the tent all taken down and we were walking to our last two tip ups that we were just praying. We were praying this would go up and sure enough, it's up. We just got to it, it was running, now it's stopped. I do think this fish is probably still here, but it's probably just swallowing it down. But this is going to be the last flag of the night for us. Maybe we can go out with a bang, but if not, we came out here. We all caught fish, had a lot of fun, and uh, yeah, so we'll see what happens here. Not a great sign. It's been a minute since we've had flags. Got him. How does it feel? Mm, not huge, but it feels all right. Uh, he's a feisty one. It would be an eater. <laughs> oh, there he is. Probably a 15 inch. 16 maybe male definitely the common size out here but they do get some big ones i mean we know multiple people who have like 30 inches out of this lake but the problem is you got to sit out here you got to know the spots and it's freaking enormous there's humps everywhere rock bars weed edges i mean you name it this lake's got it let me get a release on this guy real quick he's ready to go i'm sure if we stayed out here a little longer if we went to have caitlin and the dogs no offense to them We'd probably stay out here a little longer and probably get some flags. Like Brandon's big fish that he caught the other day, that didn't come until like what, midnight? 12.30. 12.30. So, I mean, he's got to sit out here all night. And uh, you never know when those big fish are going to come in, but you got to sort through a lot of those size. I think the next time we do come out here, though, we are going to do a little bit more jigging. We're probably not going to put the tip-ups in quite right away because, as you guys could tell from today's video, uh, we couldn't stop running. So never got an opportunity to jig. If we would have hunkered down, like say on this tip up that caught like six fish, we would have been able to just probably catch even more. So, but that'll be for next time. I'm going to pack this one up. We got one other one and we will talk to you guys a little more when we get back to the truck. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we made it back to the vehicles. Whew, what a send out here, especially for me, because to be completely honest with you guys, if you haven't watched the last video, I stayed out here all night long and uh, i have now been fishing for like 30 some hours <laughs> i don't know it's been a long time so yeah we're gonna go ahead wrap things up here hopefully you guys enjoyed we had a great time getting out here we hope that you guys learned a little bit obviously every time that we post a video there's something just a little bit different about every lake a lot of the lakes we like to stick to weed edges and stuff like that when we're looking for walleyes this lake in particular we're fishing really huge humps right off of deep water exits and stuff like that uh, we fished areas that had very shallow sandy areas that were covered in rocks only a little bit of weeds and uh, i'm sure there are weed patches in this lake and it's just something that nick and i have yet to find but it is something that we do want to explore so again hopefully you guys enjoyed and learned a couple new things if so make sure to leave us a thumbs up on this video we would really appreciate that if you guys are new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. We've got a ton of content still coming at you. And honestly, spring's not that far away. We've probably got two more months of ice fishing and we've got a ton of stuff coming this year. So make sure you guys are subscribed. Also hit that notification bell. And until next time, guys, tight lines from NBA.